morning! Alyssa here. Hello. I realized recently that I have a bag full of makeup that Amber gave me and I've never used. Amber gets a lot of makeup sent to her from like companies and stuff, and then a lot of that she gives to me. And then I proceed to put it into this bag in my car and not touch it or use it. So today I'm gonna crack into it, break into it, unzip into it, cause that's the way it actually opens. And put some of it onto my face. See how that turns out. Before we head to the bathroom to start makeuping, it's time for quarantine outfit of the day. Uh, uh. All right, what we've got here is a black zip up hoodie that I bought at an estate sale for $5. Yes. So chic, hoodie Vogue. Vogue with your hood up. Oh my God, I look like I'm either really trying to be cool or I'm actually cool. I'm, it would just depend on my demeanor. I feel like if I'm not talking, I look really cool. Then once I start talking again, I just look like someone who's trying to be cool and, and or is, is trying to hide in the rain or has cold ears. We do not have a shirt on underneath of it because honestly give me one good reason why I should bother. On the bottom half, we've got some pajamas that are like nice and thin and soft and lovely. They look like they're perhaps winter themed or Christmas themed, but it's a little ambiguous. We're not sure. We're wearing them in April, so. And finally, and most importantly, we have our socks of the day. On our left foot, we've got Simpson sock. I think its pair was featured in a video not too long ago. And then on our right foot, we've got a sheep sock. But then the big bonus is it says, be a happy sheep. Sock of the day, yeah. Bathroom. To start off with, I'm just gonna put like some of my own face stuff on because most of the things in here are lip glosses and sticks and eye shadows and glitters. Yeah, so face. <laughs> this is my usual face stuff. I never know if I'm supposed to put this stuff on my eyelids or not. I usually do. Is that correct? But better put it on your eyelids than sorry, right? Powder. <laughs> This is my own mascara that I'm gonna use. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm giving myself a nice base coat. Base coat? <laughs> Something like a wall that I'm painting inside my house. We've got the base coat on, we've got the primer. Now it's time for the paint. Anyways, I have a nice base coat on. And now it's time to dig into this mystery bag and start playing around. There are many eyelashes in this bag. I think I like these the best. I think we're gonna go with these. Andrea. Number 33. Take these out of their little hidey hole. I'm gonna put some glue on them. All right, we're trying to put on one of the eyelashes over here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Going good, going great. <gasps> did we do it? <gasps> we did <laughs> Woo, that was good, okay. Uh, I struggle so much with these things. These are impossible to put on, why? But this, we're gonna try to put the other one on. Are you gonna go on, are you gonna behave, or are you gonna be bad? Yep, you're being bad. Stop being a butthole. <gasps> oh my god, I can't believe telling it to stop being a butthole worked. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, eyelashes, for transforming my entire appearance. <laughs> Whenever I have fake eyelashes on, I like cannot help myself from going like this. And just like batting them. Like <laughs> it just feels right. It just feels right. These are so precariously on here that I feel like the wind could blow and then they're just gone. And we're inside, there's no wind. I feel like the inside air circulation could circulate and they would fall off. But we're gonna cross our fingers and hope for the best that they can stay on for the rest of the video. And now, what is this? This looks like a book. Alamar Cosmetics. Let's see. Good book. So these are eyeshadows, I believe. We have two eyeshadow things to choose from. We have this one and then this Too Faced one. I think what I'm gonna do is use both. One of these I'm gonna use as an eyeliner and one of them I'm gonna use as a eyeshadow. So first, eyeliner. I'm gonna use Guantanamera as an under eye eyeliner. Let's try that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like a painter. Mm. Art. Mm. Oh, that looks good, except for this happened. We have angered the gods of loose powder. 
Whenever this happens, I wish that my mouth was over here so I could blow it off. How am I supposed to blow this way? I'm gonna attempt, but it never works. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm paying us. It's not happening. That's upsetting. Whenever you try to get like powder off with one of these, it just like blends it into your skin more and it ruins everything like it just did. We're upset. Everybody's upset. We all want to scream. We're not going to. We're just going to try to fix it. I think we're going to have to break out the big guns, which is this. I'm a 10 year old boy. We're fixing her up. She's getting fixed up. We're not worried. We're not worried anymore. We're feeling better. Much better. And you guys, I love this as eyeliner. Wow. That looks way better than this eye. I look awake. She's sleepy. I'm gonna try and not do the, the thing where I get powder everywhere this time. Yes, yes, you're doing it, yes. Oh man, yeah. Wow, what do we think? I think that looks good. And now we're gonna do some eyeshadow. I'm gonna use the same brush and get this Guantana Mara off it. Ooh, that made it like a pretty abstract art on this paper towel. Uh, so we're gonna use this Too Faced eyeshadow. These don't have names. I'm gonna name it myself. I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna name it Phil. Yes, we love it. It's shiny. Ooh, I'm just like petting it with this little brush right now and it's very soothing. Oh, I could do this forever. I know that there's like ways of doing eyeshadow that isn't just like plop it all over your eyeball. Like people do like sections and there's like a different color for like the top and like the side, but we're not that advanced. We are novice or beginner. What do you call it? Which one? Whichever one is least knowledgeable. That actually looks kind of cool though, I think. Maybe we'll put it above our eyelid a little bit too. Like go up a little higher. I don't know. I think that looks kind of good. Other eyeball. Gonna travel across the world. Why is Pokemon stuck on my head? You far away. Wow, that looks kind of good. I'm impressed with myself. Oh my god, that makes me feel so legit. Holding this in one hand and this in the other and going. That is so satisfying. Yeah, I just did my makeup, no big deal. We've got Note Luminous Silk Compact Blusher Argon Oil. Oh, it's like nice and like orangey almost. Hmm, we kind of like it. I think I put too much on. That's my fault. That's not its fault. Oops, wipe some of it off. It looks a little bit better. Lips, there are so many options. I think we're gonna go with this one. This is called Carity Lip Lock Velvet Liquid Lipstick. The color is Tick Tick Boom. <laughs> I knew I liked this color. Again, 10 year old boy. It's a bomb. I'm gonna get down. Never mind, it's just me. I'm a bombshell. Hmm. We're painting, we're painting. Well, I should not talk while I do this. This really is the color of blood. <laughs> Vampire. I'll just keep it like that. I don't like to do the top lip, just the bottom. I think it looks dope. Whoa, I really look like a vampire. <laughs> I really do. Maybe I shouldn't have picked this color. My bad. <laughs> it's very dark. I look goth. I'm wondering if I can fix this by putting a lighter color on top. No one shall ever know. That I'm secretly a vampire. I don't know if I just made it worse or better. Ain't that just the way? I think it's a little better. I'm just gonna keep adding layers until there's so many layers that my lips jut off my face like a beak. Now I found something called Buxom Full On Lip Polish. So we're gonna try that. It also says sugar on it. And I like sugar, so. <laughs> oh, it's pretty. Oh, it smells great. It smells like sugar. I think that's why it says sugar on it. Delicious. Oh, shimmering, pout, plumping, shine. Refreshing, tingling sensation. It's a very light tingle. It's like, it's as if I just like kissed a mint ice cream cone. I just realized some of the things that I thought were lipsticks are actually liquid eyeliner. So I'm gonna add one of those. I either have petal metal or black. I think I'm gonna go with black. Just cause that feels fun. I think looking like a vampire earlier really affected me because now I want black. Oh, look what she did. That looks good. Can't she do it again on the side? Probably not. No. Are we gonna try? Yeah. 
That's not the same. Oh, oh, not completely identical, but that's okay. Eyeliner, eyeliner. Oh, my eyelash is coming off. Stay. Got some bronzer. BH Cosmetics Satin Bronzer. Natural finish bronzer. It says finish, so that's why it's gonna be the final touch. I have absolutely no idea how to put bronzer on or where it's supposed to go or what kind of brush. I picked this one. It felt right, but who knows? I feel like it should go on my cheeks. Maybe it goes up here, maybe it goes on my nose. Maybe it goes on my chin. I don't know, it's gonna go everywhere bronzed. Ooh, my favorite thing. Ah! So that's actually all of the makeup that I have at my disposal on my face. It's a lot, fully covered in gunk. Let's look at it. For the final reveal, I even put on a cute top. Wow, overachiever. I better get an A in this class or I'm rioting. My hair felt like it could use some taming. So these bobby pins are, are doing their darndest. <laughs> That transformation is complete. That was me trying on Amber's old makeup. I'm about to take so many selfies. As always, like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the good things. I'll put that little subscribe -y thing there. And to be good and be safe and have a happy quarantine. Don't worry though guys, the pants and the socks have remained the same. Cause we're just filming from here up, so who would ever know? Except for all of you guys, cause I just told you.